becoming a data analyst just became easy. You know what? Scratch that. Learning anything just became easy. Anything? Yes, and it can be done at faster rates than ever before due to the AI revolution in ChatGBT. And as you probably know, it's already been causing havoc. Now, despite it still being in its infancy, I believe this has the potential to help with tech related jobs so we can copy, or maybe I should say reference ChatGBT instead of having to trawl through Stack Overflow. And for those of you still trying to get into the industry, so like data analysis or any tech related job, exponentially increase your ability to learn, land you that first job and I'm speaking right now, and all if I happen to spend a penny or a very little amount in comparison. So here are four ways ChatGBT can be used to learn data analysis or anything for that matter. ChatGBT can be used to learn a plethora of subjects and concepts at varying skill levels. And the good thing about this is that unlike a normal tutor where you have to allocate time, align calendars, it's there for you 24 seven. Now I really think this is a good way to get started with learning concepts around data analysis before paying for a course or even using it while you're on a course just for cross-referencing, so additional insight. Now, a good example would be if you wanted to learn the basics of Python, you can literally write in this question and then it will start going through the logics or the fundamentals of what Python is capable of doing. So going over things like variables, functions, and tells you the logic behind exactly what it's doing as well, which is really helpful. You can then follow this by niching down and asking ChatGPT what are the specific libraries used within Python for data analysis and then exactly what each library is used for. And then to deepen your understanding, just having some code as a reference point. So as an example, looking at pandas, how can I write code using the pandas library, which then ChatGPT will start to execute, show you example code, and then also give you an explanation of what it's doing. This can also be used to look at other key components or tools of data analysis. So looking at Excel, the different variations of SQL, looking at Power BI, so either DAX for the M language, and as far as other coding languages, or anything really you wanna learn. See, I call this the teacher you never had at school or your own version of Tony Stark's Jarvis. Once you started to learn all of these tools and these concepts, you need to ensure all of that knowledge stays in your brain. And the best way to do that is by getting your hands dirty and getting in that practice. And there's many places you can do this. So W3 Schools, Data Camp, 365 Data Science, just to name a few. And I'll leave some links in my description. Now, when you're getting in that work, getting in that practice, sometimes you can fall into trouble. We all do. And the concepts, the ideas of whatever these various websites are trying to tell you about how you got it wrong or why you're not getting it right, let's say, just doesn't make sense to you. And this is where ChatGPT shows its colors once again by being a study buddy. An example question could be, write a NumPy program to convert a list of numeric values into a NumPy array. You get the answer and it doesn't make sense. You could then ask ChatGPT to change this and make it make more sense to you, essentially. If you still don't understand, you can ask it to explain this to me like I'm a two year old, okay? Or even like you found out what Python was yesterday. And honestly, it tailors its answer as best as it can to what you've requested. And there's no shame in it. We all need the additional guidance. Or maybe I'm just projecting here. ChatGPT can also be used to create additional tests and exams for you. This can be tests for university, for qualifications, technical interviews, or even just a personal way to test yourself when you're not using a tool as much as before. And what really stands out for me is the ability to make this tailor-made and specific to the company of choice when we're looking at technical interviews. So a good example can be, what type of SQL questions would I get for a technical interview at Google? It will then provide you with a list of questions which you can then practice on. And then once you come up with an answer that you really like, you can actually push this back to ChatGBT, which then it can provide you with a grade and feedback on your answer. Now I did this with a question it asked around how to handle large amounts of data and ensure scalability. And I gave an answer around moving away from on-premise storage to cloud storage, ensuring that your database was thoroughly normalized and introducing sharding. And <laughs> it lied to my answer, so shout out me. But there were some improvements that I suggested and it spoke about how my answer could be more concise. And what was really good is that it gave me a model answer, which I can read through and see the improvements it made. And one step further than this is that 
you've now actually got an answer that you really like that you can actually use for interviews going forward. It can also be used as a comparison tool. So yes, the debate that we all want, Power BI versus Tableau. And in the ideal world, it should give us as Power BI as the victor, but of course it likes to stay impartial, keep everybody happy. So that's not what happened here. But jokes aside, what we can actually use it for is to compare and contrast different tools within the data analyst toolkit so that you can get an idea of what's imperative for you to learn first, second, third, etc. And then with this knowledge, you can now make your own personalized roadmap based on the time you want to be job ready per se. Now, moving away from the roadmap use case, you can actually use this to compare and transfer different code between languages. Now, let me show you what I mean. So SQL is usually easier to learn for most people than Python. And what I've got on screen is the inner join that I've made on SQL. Now you can ask ChatGPT to transfer this code from SQL to Python and it does it. So it tells you the libraries is used, the logic is used, why the code makes sense and what it does and essentially what your code was trying to do in the first place as well. It's beautiful. And this can be also used to compare and contrast different coding languages as well. So going from let's say C++ to Java. So as you've seen, this tool is really, really powerful and can provide you that additional guidance and help to learn data analysis or anything for that matter, whatever you're interested in, especially when using the points mentioned as they synergize together to bring out the most value from the tool. But unfortunately, there are limitations. As MFD likes to say, everything that glitter ain't this scale. ChatGBT is still not a finalized product, it's still in the works and it's still undergoing training. And because of this, it's prone to sometimes getting answers wrong. So much so that answers generated from ChatGBT have now been banned from Stack Overflow. ChatGBT is also very good at summarizing information, but sometimes lacks that low level detail alongside completely not having the ability to add context like humans, which can take a person from a beginner to an expert. ChatGBT is also limited to the data that it's been trained on. So currently speaking, it's only recent to about 2021 or so. But I do believe over time, the tool will get better and better. And this is due to more data being generated and consumed, allowing the machine learning models that are used to train it to get better and better over time as well. Also, competition. You see, competition drives innovation. So as more competitors come into the space, ChatGPT just has to get better, you know, to stand a chance. So yeah, I'm talking about you, Google. Now, if you want to use this tool to do learning from a stage where you know nothing to becoming a beginner and getting your first job, and I think it's perfect. Anything above this, I would say use it as a reference or as an additional tool alongside those tried and tested courses that people talk about and are rated very highly. Now, of course, if you like the video, then definitely leave me a like. Comment about what you liked, what you found insightful. And of course, if I brought you any value at all, definitely subscribe. And until next time, stay blessed, take care and peace. But make sure your change will be televised.